more and more, especially post pandemic, and now that Illustrator is available, my students at 3D3 Design Studio and at FIT are using an iPad. And I get it, it's more convenient, it's less expensive than buying a computer, and you can do a lot of the same work on an iPad that you could do on a laptop. So I suspect that I'll have even more students next semester working on their iPads. So I want to make sure that I can let them know what they can and cannot do because there are going to be things that we do in class on the desktop that are not available for the iPad just yet. Now I've shown you how to draw a flat sketch in Illustrator on the iPad in this video. And the next thing we do is we create a color CAD using custom colors that you save based on your seasonal concept. And pretty much every class I teach has to do this. So I wanna show you how to save your custom colors on the iPad because it's a little different than how you do it on the desktop. And once you do it, it'll seem very simple. The first thing you're going to do is mix your color. Click on the fill or stroke color and use the color wheel and cube to create a new color. Use the outer circle to select a hue and the cube to change the brightness and saturation. You can also manually input the values using the sliders and the three dots in the upper right corner after you open the slider section will allow you to switch between CMYK, grayscale, hex code, HSB and RGB sliders. You can even sample colors from a picture, which is something that many students do to match colors from an inspiration photo. Once you mix the color you want, save the color by opening the swatches section and pressing add swatch. This will automatically add the color to the swatches panel. And then press and hold the swatch to get a pop-up menu that will allow you to edit the color. Once you choose edit, you can name the color, choose a color type, and we go over in class why you choose a process, global process, or spot color, and update the color mode. You can also make slight changes to the color if necessary using the sliders. Although you don't have access to the extensive library colors you have on the desktop, you can access color books if you need Pantone or swatches from any other color system. You can also access anything you may have saved in your cloud libraries. Just open the library section, tap the library you want to access, and tap the color you want to use. Keep in mind that, like the desktop version, only global process and spot colors will get automatically added to the color palette. So if you choose a process color, you'll need to add the swatch for it to stay in the palette. So not too bad. It's a little different from the desktop version, but nothing that will cause too much stress. So creating custom colors for color cats on the iPad, check. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you check out the links in the description for more information about my classes to get some great freebies or to schedule a call with me to discuss your design goals. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, comment, subscribe, or share with another designer. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.